Hey y'all, welcome back. Mandy from My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. And today I got some new crickets in, so I need to clean out my tote and reset it up. It is early in the morning and I'm hoping to get this up before I have to leave for work. If not, it will be posted after. So today is day seven of my seven day video challenge. This has gone by really fast, you guys. And I've had a lot of fun with it. I've been trying to experiment with some different things. So I've got my coffee here. And yes, I don't know if you can tell when my hair is still wet. So let's clean out my Cricut tote. Okay, so for this, I've got my paper towels. I have a 50-50 mix of white distilled vinegar and hot water. My Cricut tote. My Fluker's High Calcium Cricut Diet. And, and my Fluker's Cricut Quencher Cricut Water. Calcium Fortified. Can't put enough calcium in your crickets. And then of course, I have crickets. So first things first, I'm gonna open this up. I do have a couple stragglers. I'm just gonna go set them free. They won, they get to live. So I set those guys free. I've got my little, and I'm just gonna spray inside. Get rid of that lovely cricket aroma. Wipe it down. Now we have a nice clean cricket tote. The white distilled vinegar is, it's non-toxic. It won't hurt anyone or anything. And it gets rid of any odor. Although it does have an odor itself, but the odor goes away after a couple minutes. So I'm just gonna take a paper towel. Kinda get an idea of how big I need it to be and then attempt to nicely tear it. I guess I could cut it all pretty, but I mean, it's for a cricket toad. It's, it's okay if it's not perfect. Okay, so we've got the bottom layer. I'm gonna go ahead and add a spoonful of my calcium cricket diet and just dab those in the corners. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my Cricut water. I'm gonna put that in the corners. Oops, and I'm spilling. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my tubes back in. And now, full of the Cricuts. And we're losing some. I lost one. And I'm just gonna rip off a little piece of egg crate. Throw that in there for them. They have the tubes. They're okay. And that's it. All this food and water should last a few days. By then, my frogs and my gecko will have eaten all of them, so. And you can always throw in like a potato or some carrots or all kinds of goodies you can put in here and let them eat on that to help with gut loading. It isn't 100% necessary, but you can totally do it. So when it comes to gut loading your crickets, I mean, you really can go as fancy or as simple as you want. Right now I'm doing simple setups. I don't really have time to make my own cricket formula right now. So I'm keeping it simple, y'all. Going with the high calcium diet. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!